France Breve, Eurocom, IMT and Qualcomm have co-hosted a conference to share the success of their multilateral collaboration. They brought together technology experts, academic researchers and intellectual property professionals to discuss the exciting digital transformation of auto by 5G. Here are some of the highlights from the event. In just a few years, vehicles will transmit more than eight gigabytes of data daily, equivalent to the data generated by 20 smartphones in Western Europe today. Given this explosion of data, it is easy to understand why the auto industry is moving to 5G. 5G is better connectivity for the car. It's how the car communicates with its environment. It's about protecting lives. It's about enabling autonomous driving. 5G for the car, it's providing better sensing capabilities to the vehicle. It's the ability to alert and the ability for the car to stop when pedestrians or children are about to cross the street. En résumé, finalement, le, soutenir le développement de la 5G, c'est pas seulement évidemment accélérer la vitesse de téléchargement des vidéos sur nos téléphones portables, mais c'est ouvrir la voie à une vraie révolution industrielle et économique euh, très profonde. Alors, cette vision s'applique en particulier aux applications de la 5G pour le secteur automobile. For us, Qualcomm, we are very much a company with DNA on innovation, a company that invested and is investing heavily in innovation to create a new technology. But the innovation implies a, a significant investment. Innovation implies ideas. And we, Qualcomm, have invested in the past 30 years more than 70 billion US dollar innovation. This is just to give a sense of the commitment and the priority we give to this R&D effort. We have a presence in France with R&D labs, so development, engineering, contributing to the global R&D lab of Qualcomm. And the labs are based in the Paris region, in Sofia Antipolis, in Grenoble, but recently we announced a new lab in Lagnon in Brittany, and we are very uh, happy and proud of uh, uh, the presence in this uh, <coughs> talented ecosystem. Des événements comme celui d'aujourd'hui sont très importants pour développer euh, en commun une vision réaliste, ambitieuse du développement en France et en Europe des usages de la 5G appliqués à, à ce secteur. This event is here thanks to France Proveability to create a link between one of the world leaders in the semiconductor technology and the top French engineering school, IMT Eurocom. This partnership has opened up new horizons for the development of the 5G standard, and I hope it will open up new horizons for all the participants. We're very thankful to, to Qualcomm and our other partners uh, for putting this instrument together so that we could um, learn the ropes, if you like, um, about the, the, the world of 3GPP. So when it comes to doing research in wireless communications targeting 3GPP, there's necessarily going to be a balance between long-term and short-term research. Our goal is to work at the world level to develop advanced research, field patents and back our position in the normalization process. I'm very happy that our team at Eurocom has produced six very important patent applications. Uh, several of these have, in fact, um, also produced some ideas that we defended in the 3GPP community alongside very big players. Thanks to the momentum given by this project, Eurocom's label of research quality is not just seen in conferences, but also in the 3GPP next to the big 3GP names. We need to support the future of the automotive industry in Europe and in parallel, protect the existing competency in innovation in mobile. This can be achieved with reasonable long-term industrial policy objectives, including rational innovation policy. And we need to work together. In fact, we need to establish open innovation events. This event shows our intention to work together, to communicate, to exchange ideas, to establish partnerships. Partnerships that work. Ideas have emerged from this collaboration. IMT Eurocom has contributed to technical solutions of the 5G standard. Let's give that spirit of openness, that appetite to learn, to work, to grow intellectually, business-wise, socially, 
through this platform, we've enabled people to take steps, steps of friendship and mutual benefits. I think in the future, this uh, collaboration will further intensify. There are some very exciting new challenges to be addressed in the context of time-sensitive networking. We believe these types of collaborations will be important for building technology sovereignty and strategic autonomy in Europe. All of this leads to a phenomenal future for the connected European automobile.